The digital era, just like everything else, was a complete game changer for music and audio. Computers and early digital devices like the iPod offered a new, more modern way to listen to music and audio. This is where our story starts. In today's video, we'll look at the most common audio file formats currently in use, how these file formats work, and compare them to each other. So let's just jump straight into it. Hello everyone, my name's Mike, and here at Sabrin we love to make and talk tech, so if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. MP3 or MPEG-1 Audio Layer 3 is one of the most common audio file formats out there. In fact, there's a good chance almost everyone watching this video has come across this format in one way or another. MP3 was developed in Germany by the Fraunhofer Society in 1995. This is a massive research organization comprising of 76 different institutes all over Germany. MP3 uses lossy compression to reduce the size of the audio file, which means that some data is lost during the compression. It does this by removing parts of the audio that are considered inaudible to the human ear. So any frequencies that isn't audible to humans gets removed. However, the loss in this information is generally not noticeable to most listeners. The compression is done via a method known as psychoacoustic modeling. We don't need to go into too much detail about it as that would require a whole separate video on its own, but basically it uses a lot of complicated math and sound engineering to figure out which data needs to be retained and which needs to be removed to maintain similar audio quality of the sound as the uncompressed sound file. This results in smaller file sizes that are more manageable for storage and transmission. On average, MP3 compression can achieve a 75 to 95% reduction in the size as compared to CD quality audio files. An MP3 file also contains compressed audio data and metadata such as song titles, artists, album and genre information. MP3 is one of the most popular formats because it provides a good balance between file size and audio quality. It it is compatible with a wide range of devices and can be easily played on most computers, smartphones and other digital devices. MP3 remains one of the most used audio formats out there, but it's not for everyone. And for those looking to get the best audio quality, the next format could be the one for you. WAV or the Waveform Audio File Format is an uncompressed audio file format that is commonly used for storing high quality audio files. Unlike MP3 and other compressed audio formats, WAV files do not remove any of the original audio data, resulting in large file sizes, but much better audio quality. This is specifically helpful for people that work with audio like sound engineers and music producers. They need high quality audio files to work and can't risk working with audio files that are compressed and have some of that really important data lost. WAV files are typically used for storing raw audio data from sources such as CDs, digital audio workstations and other high quality audio sources. They can store both mono and stereo audio and can support a wide range of bit depth and sample rates. This allows creators more control of the audio file as compared to an audio file that has gone through a lossy compression. WAV files are compatible with a wide range of devices as well, including most computers, audio editing softwares, and professional audio recording equipment. They are often used in professional audio and video production, as well as for achieving high quality audio recordings. Think of people like music producers, audio engineers for movies, or even scientists studying acoustics. AAC or Advanced Audio Coding is a compressed audio file format that is widely used by Apple iTunes and iOS devices. It was developed as a successor to MP3 with the aim of providing better audio quality at lower bit rates. Similar to MP3, AAC uses lossy compression, which means that some of the original audio data is lost during the compression process. However, it is considered to be more efficient than MP3, providing better audio quality at the same bitrate. The AAC format also supports a wider range of sample rates and channel configurations, making it 
a little bit more versatile than MP3. AAC uses a combination of spectral brand replication and parametric stereo to remove parts of the audio that are not perceived by the human ear. Spectral band replication takes advantage of the limitations of the human hearing. See, most people are less sensitive to higher frequency information, so SBR compresses high frequency information at, while leaving lower frequency information uncompressed, thus reducing the file size while maintaining effectively the same audio quality. This is similar to MP3, but not exactly. So what this means is that AAC is technically better than MP3 in terms of audio quality. And AAC also stores compressed metadata on the file like song title, artist, album, and genre. AAC is widely used for digital music files and is supported by a variety of devices, including including Apple's iOS devices, Android devices, and to be fair, most modern digital media players. It is also used as the default audio codec for many platforms, just like YouTube. So after all of those explanations, which one is better, MP3, WAV, or AAC? Well, like always, it depends. Each format has its own pros and cons. MP3 is a widely used format that provides good audio quality at smaller file sizes. MP3 is compatible with a wide range of devices and is suitable for digital music files and other applications where file size is a concern. So in terms of accessibility, MP3 is the champion here. WAV is commonly used for storing high quality audio files and it provides the best audio quality out of the three formats, but at the cost of larger file sizes. WAV is often used in professional audio and video production, as well as achieving high quality audio recordings. Whereas AAC is a compressed audio format that provides better quality audio at lower bit rates than MP3 and it is widely used on many devices but may not be suitable for absolutely everyone as AAC still isn't as widely used as MP3. So in a nutshell, MP3 is the best choice for smaller file sizes, WAV is the best choice for the highest audio quality, and the AAC format provides a balance between file size and audio quality. What audio file format works best for you entirely depends on your specific needs. But that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer and why. I really want to hear your opinions and uses. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.